So if I say to you, oh yes, um, I'm part of an association, right? Or I'm associated with someone else. It's like, oh yes, um, um, Kimmy and Hannah are associated together. What does that mean? What does that actually mean? Like if you say some, some things are associated, well, what's a word I could use to like synonym for that? So substitute for that. Yeah, right here. Common. Common, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of. Okay. Yes. Wow. B BFS five ever. Okay, yes, what else? Yeah. Friends, okay, yes, and another know each other. Okay, good. So all of these words, and a lot of them, a lot of them have to do with the fact that they're, they're people, right? So when we think about associating not people, but numbers, okay, what we mean is you can group them, group them in different kinds of orders. So, for example, here's an example I've got, right? This is something we looked at right at the end of last term under order of operations. Okay, six plus seven plus four. Addition is associative. So I can actually say, do you do six plus seven first? Or do you do seven plus four first? Which one do I do first? Uh, six plus seven. Uh, now, interestingly, for addition, and maybe you want to put some arrows here for me. It doesn't matter. Just like we saw here, it's like, oh, I can get the same one no matter which one I do first. So I could do six plus seven first which is 13 uh, plus 4, right? And you're going to get an answer. Or alternatively, I could do I could do the 7 plus 4 first if I wanted, and then add 6. In fact, if I want, I can shift it up even more ways. Because of the commutative law, I can switch the order here and go, well, let's do 6 plus 4. We might like to do 6 plus 4 first. Why would we do that? Because it equals 10. Yeah, they're friends of 10, so they're easy, and then you just get 17 out of that. Okay, Charles. I've got a question, um, but not in math. Like, how long does the last time detention go for? Maybe I'll talk to you about that after we finish doing math. How's that sound? He's got one, and then we need to do our work. So Thanks well, how about we finish doing our math first? And then okay. All right. Now, this idea of the associative law, right? Maybe you want to summarize it in this way: for addition and for multiplication, you can group numbers oh, it's like in any brackets. order. So Say that again. It's like using brackets. That's exactly what it is, right? Because brackets we've seen we've seen in order of operations, they're what you should do first, right? But you can see here, no matter where you put the brackets, you always get the same thing, which is kind of nice. Yes. Correct. That's exactly right. Okay. Uh, and I won't write it, but multiplication is the same thing. If I did 6 times 7 times 4, again, you can multiply them, and you can do these two pairs first, or these, or you can shift them around and whatever. Yeah? Does this have anything to do with mass? Yeah, it's closely related to that, in fact. Okay? And part of like what I, I said before, right? when you see something like this, you should treat it as a guide. Right? It's meant to help you remember. It's just to, mem to help your memory, really. What you should really be thinking of is, well, what do numbers do? Like, if I add all of these, you still get 17. So that's the real law. This is a law, and that's just kind of a cute acronym. Yeah, to help you. Okay.